What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ja, and as you see by the title, today I will be teaching you guys how to create a hundred hundred K or die server. Sorry about that. So, the first thing you would need to do is make sure you join the Discord so you can have the downloads right here, the resources, the SQL, and the server config. So, after you have downloaded those things, also you will need. To have a VPS, I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up in a minute. And also, you need to get you need to go to keymaster5m.net. I'm gonna have all these links in the description, including the Discord server. So, after you have all the resources downloaded, slap them on your desktop basically, slap them on your desktop. So, because I feel like the resource will be like the most highly thing to even download because it's all this is right here bro all this stuff so after you have downloaded the resources make sure you have these links up keymaster patreon i don't have patreon up sorry about that patreon patreon is how you stream your custom clothing and i want to say cars because cars come basically free to stream i believe and you need WinC, Win, Win CSP, and you need Heidi. Heidi is for the database to change like the money, add gangs, add the cards to the database so they can show up in the store. And Win CSP is just to add files into this without even basically just going to the dashboard. So this would be easier to win, use Win, win SCP. Sorry about that. If I'm stuttering too much, it's because like I'm anxious, you know, and like I just can't get my words out sometimes. So, the VPS that I recommend is Five Games. I use Five Games, and also they do have a freaking deal going on. So, once you get to this website right here, you go to Game Servers. And then from Game Servers, it's just going to show you what servers that you play on, or that you can play on. And from here, you want to just choose GTA Five Five M. The best deal, the best one to go with, honestly, is the $25 one, only because it's basically a starter. And I feel like everyone gets this. But if you're on a budget, I say just stick to these three up here. But out of all, these three, the third one is the best because it it's less, you know, it's it has more gigabytes and the network speed is better. I mean, network speed is the same, but I'm pretty sure that you but it that it run better because of the RAM. So once you get here, just order your package. I prefer this one, but like I said, you can get this one. And if you don't have a budget, you can just basically go all out if you have confidence in yourself. But I wouldn't really recommend even like buying the high expensive ones if you know that this is just like not a dedicated server, but that you that you just want to, you know, play on sometimes. So yeah, go with the twenty five dollar one. Right now it's thirteen dollars, and it's in the EU, but you could pay in US dollars. So once you have that, first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard. It's going to look like this. Yes, I already have a server. So first thing you want to do is basically just go to manage. And then into your control panel, and it's gonna something pop up like this. Something's gonna pop up like this. I mean, so we wanna click this. And first thing you wanna do is go to SFTP, which is right here. Basically, just reinstall this. Click reinstall server. And then once this reinstall, go to files, and then basically just delete everything in here because we're gonna use our own. We're gonna use our own resources. So right, once you have deleted those and then reinstalled the server, you can also edit this sometimes from here and there, but you don't really mess with this. Once you have did that, next thing you wanna do is create an, a database. I'm gonna delete this one because this is from like the last time I tried. So 
create a new database. I'm like, say, type in new server. Okay, make sure you have created the database. So after you have the files deleted, nothing. So this is just blank. Make sure you, then you have the new database. So after that, that's done. You have the resources downloaded. Make sure you go to win SCP and click download and then hit the green one down right here. Well, I'm gonna have this link up. So you just basically hit the green button right here and it's gonna pop up something like this. And if it's not downloading, just hit direct download. And it's gonna pop up, then you open it and then click yes and then accept next then install i'm not going to install it because i already have it installed you know so once you have that installed you want to download heidi sql so in order to download it you basically just hit the installer 32 size 64 bit so you just click that it's going to download right there and then you know when you just open it you open it and set it up i'm just not going slow so i'm not going to worry about it so you just open it and set it up and then once you have one SCP and how do you download it? Once you have these two things downloaded, that looks like this, you're good to go. So on when SCP, which is this, this one right here, I'm gonna I can't full screen it, but it's just right here. First thing you want to do is go to new site and then go back to your VPS and then go to SFTP settings. So you click that and you bring this up. So you're on the new site and make sure that the protocol is F SFTP. So the host name which is the server address so you just copy that or you just click it and it copies automatically and you paste that in there and the port number changes so you don't have to type that in and the username is right here and you just paste that in there paste it in there just like that and the password is the password that you made for your vibe games account so you just type this in here for instance i'm just type my Then it's gonna bring up files that I already have. So, yeah, this is, gonna, this is gonna bring up the files that's in the actual files of the Vi game server. So when C, when SCP acts as acts as if it's the actual Vi games directory or whatever. So once you have this set up, you basically just want to. Let me close this out and reopen it to so you basically just wanna all right so let me lock back in so you basically just wanna like make sure nothing is here you basically just wanna take resources cfg and this right here take those two take these three no take these two this is something different you don't make sure you do not drag do not drag 100k or die sql in here so you just drag these two resources in server config and then say you're downloading it so i'm make a new folder you know what i'm gonna just drag i'm gonna drag these three in here let me see drag these four, some, I don't know, bro. I just drag this. I'm gonna just drag this up in here. And you drag it over here. You don't get a prompt like this. Make sure you click this up arrow and click 189.92. I mean, 81.92. So it can download faster. So we're not gonna put those in there because I don't want it to mess up the actual, my actual files. So. I'm gonna just.
So I'm gonna just delete these right here. Since I'm ODB, I was just showing you guys how this actually works. What is this? See, I don't need this. I don't need version tech. So your stuff should look basically like this. Oh, it should look like So like if you just have you should just have resources and server config in there as of right now and then you click on resources and then you just see all this stuff and I'm gonna make a video on this how to navigate through this and how to change stuff out and show you guys where everything's at so once this is this is installed you could just X out and then go back to your VPS and go to files and refresh it or it automatically refresh and it's going to show you that you have resources and server config in there and once that is done you can open this up you just double click on it and it should prompt you like a new setup thingy so for me I'm going to just click new and then type in your server name your actual server name not not what I'm typing Just because I can't spell. So once you have done that, open your VPS back up once more time, and then go to database, and then this is the database I have created before I want to win SCP. So you click the I, and then you get your database IP host, and you paste it here, and the root is change root change out root and then copy your database username which is that and you just click that and then password basically just take that and just paste it in here and then you click open and it's going to prompt you this and then just say yes click yes and then you should see something like this so you take the 100k or die well before you take the 100k or die server let me ask you will you should see something that says stop on errors and batch mode is right next to the paintbrush so you click that because sometimes it doesn't work and what you want to do is you want to just click this and then hit run and you should see something like you should see something like this in your in your stuff you should see all this stuff right here literally all this stuff if you don't see this something, this stuff right here, you, you did something wrong. But just hope you didn't do anything wrong. And hope this video can actually help you. So once you have done that, you just basically take this. You take your, you just click on it. This is your connection stream, where you stream your, cl your custom clothing and like the actual database inside the server. So once you, have done that. I'm gonna full screen this. You wanna find a line that says it says set my SQL string, which is right here. So basically you just want to replace this and it should look something like this. It should have your database, your database, it should say database and your database name. So once that is done. You basically just go in and change things that look like you should change. So for instance, you want to change the discord, the ending of the discord. You want to change the host name. You want to change the project name, the server description and this also steam API key and the license key all right so the license key i'm gonna show you guys show you guys how to get the api key from steam and the this right here, the 5m key so once that is done once you have the, the database you want to go to patreon and from patreon you want to basically just i'm gonna give you a link to actually get to the patreon thing 
so where is that I don't think it's gonna pop up for me because I had a hard time. I had a hard time basically just finding this. But you wanna type in pay, buy Patreon? Well, you don't have to type in it because I'm gonna have a link for you. So these are the prices for Patreon, I believe. No, this is not it. All right, so I believe this is the correct link. Sorry about that. This is the correct link. So the best one to go with for now, since you're a, a beginner, is the 1950 per month. The 1950 acts as basically. I think this is one, this is the best one to start off with because you get 64 slots, meaning like 64 people can join and yeah you can stream custom clothing the cars basically uh you stream that too and you get discord benefits also so once you have bought this right here and you make sure you're signed in to your actual cfg account cfx account i mean make sure you're signed to that and yeah so once this is done, you want to go to this, which is keymaster.5m.net. All this Patreon, this Patreon thing is gonna be in the link. This Patreon page is gonna be in the link. The Discord's gonna be in the link. Heidi and Win SCP and Five Games gonna all be in the link. So after you get the Patreon. So basically in this whole setup, you're buying two things. You're spending like, like $40. Well, as of right now, they're, ha they're having a deal on this. So it's 13, 13 and 1950. That is, let me see. I don't know how to do simple math like this, bro. That is thirty-two dollars that you will be spending. Thirty-two dollars and fifty cents that you will be spending just to put this together, which is not bad because I'm gonna have in the Discord. I'm gonna have like clothing pads, all that stuff for you guys here in the download. This is just to set up the server. So once that is done, but yeah, let's, let's get back into it though. But once this is done, you want to go to Keymaster. I'm having the link. I'm having it in the description below. And you want to click sign in and make sure you sign in with your cfx account so all these accounts right here i mean all these like these um host names and server thingies keys right here so yeah i'm just i just got sidetracked so basically if you have bought the patreon you should see something like this all of your keys have currently have 5m element club algorithm I think that's how you use Argatum. I don't know how to pronounce that, bro. And then you just click register, and then type in your type in your server name. I'm like test server. So your initial IP will basically be your VPS console IP, which is this right here. So you just click on that, and then. You go back to Keymaster and you paste that and make sure you move the port off. And then server type, of course, is going to be CPS. And then it's going to ask you which server provider are you hosting? I mean, are you using? Go back to your console and then I believe it's, it should be your ID up here. So if you just copy your ID. It should be your ID, so just copy that right there. And then put that right there, and then click that I'm not a robot and generate. So you're gonna be brought to a screen like this. And basically you just wanna copy this right here. Click copy. And 
go back into the server CFG and you want to change where it says set SV license key to this right here so you just want to place it and I can make it easy to where you guys can just like go in there and just change change the things that say he's changed me I think I'm gonna do that actually so yeah you just want to basically just go in there and replace the stuff that you think that makes sense I'm gonna have I'm gonna fix it up for you guys so don't don't even worry about it so once you have done that you want to type in steam API key this tutorial might be long because I'm talking so much. So log in with your Steam already logged in. And basically what you want to do is basically it's gonna prompt you to um type in your Steam thingy, your domain name, and just click register. I don't want to provoke this because I already have my thing set up. So yeah. Let me see if I can find like an actual Steam API picture. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's gonna look something like like this. You're just gonna type in your domain name, you're gonna click your you agree and then click register. And then you should just have this fat old long key. So you just take that, copy that, go on the server config again. And where it says set, set Steam Web API key, just basically replace that like that. And then once you have done that, you're really good to go. You're ready to start the server and tell your friends about it, basically. And next video. I'm going to show you guys how to add clothing and cars into the actual database and the server files. So peace out, guys. Make sure you hit that like and sub button. And guys, don't forget to join the Discord server to get these resources right here. These three resources. And all the links definitely will be down in the description below. Peace out.